How's it going YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use and install the mod Sonic Apes Unbelievable Shaders. So the first part of this tutorial is how to install the mod and it, below in the description I'll leave all the links to all these um, downloads. So the first thing you're going to need is Optifine and the way to find this is you need to go to Optifine, you need to get to Ultra, show the extra old versions because it's 1.3 of this mod and click download. When it's downloading you've got to wait for that. The next is the Avo's Rustic Texture Pack. You're going to need to go to Minecraft Customizer because the link is down at the moment because so many people are downloading all this stuff. When you're at Minecraft Customizer, just go on Normal Download and this will take you to another ad fly. Next thing you're going to need is the Minecraft 1.3.1 um, mod basically. You're going to download that. And the last thing you're going to need is Minecraft 1.3 because most of you are probably on 1.3.2 now. I'm looking to install this mod, but the mod is only 1.3. Okay, so let's just skip all these now. Okay, so once these are all downloaded, you want to just drag everything to your desktop so you don't lose anything. Just wait for this to load. June. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is get the old version of Minecraft. So you want to go to percent, uh, percent, enter dot Minecraft bin. You'll see here you have a Minecraft. I'm just going to delete that or make, rename it. You want to drag in your Minecraft that you downloaded and make sure it's called Minecraft. Okay. The next thing you want to do is open this with WinRAR, I'll leave a link to download it in the description. Once you download it, the first thing to do before you install anything is delete meta.inf. Okay. Now you, you want to open up to find, select all the files and drop them in. Make sure they're not over a folder otherwise it will not work and you will not install up to find. Close up to find. Okay. Close this. Okay. So now we need to download this, it's still not downloading, so we'll prepare the download. Wait for this to download, obviously when I'm recording it doesn't work. So we're going to get the texture pack going. Okay, so when you download this, you want to delete both of the water images here if you want to get water shaders working. If you don't, leave them in. Once, you, once you've got that, get it here, drag it to your desktop, just double check it still saved it. Yep. Go back to your Minecraft folder, drop back a level, and go into texture packs. And I already got it. And you're just going to drag and drop it in there. And I don't have, have anything in this. Okay. So once we've done this, we're just going to close out of Minecraft now because we're not going to need it. I'm going to try download this again. Okay. It's worth it. Let's wait for that to download. Yeah. So it's quite a simple mod to install, but quite a few people get confused that because you have to run and install and the installer doesn't work for some people so I'm showing you now how it works for me all the time and then later on I'll show you in the video um, it actually working for me so the first thing you want to do when you get this to make sure it works is create a new folder call it whatever you want I'm going to call it shaders okay drag and drop it in here right right click on here and go to extract here it's going to extract all the files you can now delete that Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is open the installer, I mean, open the um, installer for Windows and run as administrator. This is what people forget to do and it generally doesn't work. So yeah, we're at the installer right now. So you want to go on options and, and check that this is in your Minecraft. It should actually find it itself, but just check if it doesn't. And now you're going to install mods. You can view the log if you want, it's not very interesting, there's nothing going on really. Shows you if any errors occur when you're downloading and installing it. Okay, it should say installation complete. You can close this down now. Okay, but now you want to go back to the shaders file that you made and you want to see over this patch. Okay, you want to get these files. I'll close that down by accident. Okay, and you want to go back to your Minecraft and your text pack folder and go into a Rustic Redemption, okay, and select these files and move them over and just drop them in. Okay, this will give you the water shaders and some of the shaders. Okay, now once you've done that, 
Let's check there's nothing left over. I don't think there's anything left over, so we can now delete all these files from the desktop that we don't need anymore. And that's that it. You should now have shaders. So leave a comment if it didn't work and tell me what I did wrong or go and check another video. I, all the links, as I said, will be in the description, including the WinRAR download. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll now show you what it looks like in game. Guys, I'm now going to show you what the mod looks like in game. As you can see straight away, there are two glaring bugs. The first one is dark water, and the second one is um, lighting, which is on top of the sand and other blocks. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like and favorite if the video helped you, and comment, tell me what I did wrong if something went wrong. And yeah, thanks.